Hi, I'm Chris from DinoJet. In this video, we're going to install this Power Commander 5 into this 2013 Can Am Outlander 500. To get this install started, we're going to go ahead and pull off the seat and this cover underneath the handlebars. So we're going to need to remove this panel from the right hand side of the quad. After undoing the, both of the push pins underneath the fender wells and the push pin here in the middle, we will pop the gauge cluster loose and then we should be able to pull this panel off the quad. After cleaning the surface area with the supplied alcohol swab, we're going to use the Velcro to secure the module to the rear of the airbox at this location and then route the harness down towards the engine. Our first connection we'll come to is our rear fuel injector, our fuel injector for the rear cylinder. We're going to plug our power commander leads with the yellow and white yellow colored wires in line with the rear injector. Next we'll come to our throttle position sensor here on the rear of the throttle body. We'll unplug that and our pair of three pin connectors of the power commander will plug in line with the quad's TPS. Next we'll connect our power commander leads with the orange and white orange colored wires in line with the front fuel injector. And finally we will secure our ground wire with the six millimeter ring lug to this common ground location on the rear cylinder head. And now that our power commander harness is fully plugged in we can reinstall the body panels in the seat. <laughs> 